Hey there, it's Margaret from This Lady Rides, and today I'm going to show you how to either add some rhinestones or bling to your motorcycle helmet, or if you have one that came with stones on it, but like mine, they pop off, you want to replace those stones. I'm going to be using a heat set gun. I'm also going to go over how to do it with some different types of adhesive. First thing you want to do is to wipe down the outside of your helmet. I just used an all-purpose cleaner, wiped it off really good, and dried it. You want to make sure you don't have any type of road grime on it or bug splatters, anything like that. So go ahead, get it nice and clean, and allow it to dry. So when it comes to the actual stones, you have a lot of different options. You can get sets that are already made into a design. This one is for ironing on, but you can also use the heat set gun. And they also make some that are sets like this for the heat set gun. Same with this dragonfly. Now, there's a large variety of colors, and you can get them in single colors with different sizes or different sizes, multi colors. Usually, these larger packs like this are more cost effective and great if you want to have a lot of different colors. One side is black, one side is the stone. The black side is where the adhesive is. That's going to heat up and adhere to our helmet. Okay, so we're going to place a stone right here using the adhesive. Peel the stone off. And you can use tweezers if you want. I'm going to put a little bit of the adhesive down on the paper. You can use uh, super glue, that type of stuff too. You want the adhesive to go onto the flat side of the stone and then you just press it into place. That's all there is to it and you'll just work your way around your entire design and if it slides a little bit go ahead and hold it for a second. You know the stuff dries really quick so it won't take long. And just like for using an adhesive you want to make sure that your helmet's clean. I'm going to be using these heat fix stones and I'll put a link to them down in the description area for you. You can purchase them at most fabric and craft stores, but I've always found the best pricing online. You want to make sure that your gun is good and hot. Choose what size you're going to be using. I like to just go ahead and, and dump them out. Get them kind of spread out a little bit and turned over on side up. What we're going to do is we're going to place this tip down on the stone and what it's going to do is it's going to heat up the stone, heat up the adhesive that's on the back and allow it to adhere to the helmet. You do want to be careful because this area here is hot. There's different tips that will come with your heat gun and you just want to find one that's close to the size of your stone. Okay. So we've got our stones, stone side up, our heat gun is heated up. We're going to place that tip straight down onto the stone. It's going to stick to it. We're going to find where we want our stone to go. Place it on there. Just hold it. It'll actually start to slide around a little bit as that adhesive heats up. And that's all there is to it. This goes a lot faster than, say, the adhesive does. It also, like I've mentioned, it lasts a lot longer. Okay, if you pull it away and it's loose like that, just go ahead and stick it back on and wait a little bit longer. And you have a little bit of time to adjust it if you need to, but it is warm, so you want to slide it with the gun. Just keep moving around the entire helmet until your design has all the stones on it you want. I did want to mention, as we put a few more of these on, this is not going to affect the safety of your helmet. You're not scraping into the helmet. You're not making a divot in the helmet. You're simply applying something to the top. It's really no different than somebody that applies some stickers or um, airbrushing on their helmet. My helmet came already blinged out, so I know that it's not a safety concern. So if you have any questions about how to add some bling or stones to your helmet, let me know in the comments section and I'll be happy to answer them. 
if you're looking for some more tutorials, videos, blog posts, that type of stuff, be sure to subscribe to the YouTube channel and visit thisladyrides.com.